Welcome to Ruthless Reg Gaming. Today we're talking about Axie Infinity Origin and a team comp that we're happy to build called Axie Avengers Assemble, in which we're summoning a bunch of different minions to flood the battlefield with various effects to make sure that our three Axies stay for longer to dish out a ton of damage. Let's have a look at what this is all about. Let's talk about the Axie Avengers build. We've got three Axies here that each have the summoning capacity to summon one to two dudes per Axie. The catch was we tried to make this guide as accessible as possible. So we made the most out of the body parts of these Axies. They would be mostly class specific aside from one to two body parts. That makes your marketplace shopping that much easier. Let's talk about the Axies themselves. Our key card is mainly Bubble Maker. Because what happens is when you Bubble Make any of your summons, it blocks 5 damage per Bubble Stack. But we've got Bubble Maker that provides 2 Bubble Stacks that blocks 10 damage. And most of our summons deal damage to itself of roughly 8 per summon. And what happens is with Bubble Maker, all of that damage is negated and they stay on the battlefield indefinitely. So let's look at our frontliner and see what we're talking about. This one's mainly a pure Aqua right here. Five Aqua cards with Mavis as the eyes. That summons a little birdie that reduces the energy cost of any attack card at the start of your turn by one. Very crucial in gaining tempo during the fight itself but aside from that you've also got a body that stays there if you need a blocker just to take one attack so very very flexible card these summons you can summon any of your minions out on the battlefield and place a bubble maker on it and then what's gonna happen they're gonna get 70 shield which is not the best in the sense that you're wasting that shield but you give it two bubbles that means that effect stays there indefinitely so Mavis will not deal damage to itself because of these two bubble stacks. And it provides you with one energy cost reduction every turn it stays on the battlefield. You just put it in the back. If you want it to play safe, put that bubble on. Stays there indefinitely until it gets hit by a backdoor move. What's going to happen is this little dude's going to stay on the battlefield, reducing one of your attack cards across all of your axes by one energy cost, which means, for example, this card would cost zero at the start of your turn if this was the targeted card by Mavis. It's going to be random, but any of them from one to zero would be amazing. And then afterwards, this Axie's also got a ton of cool supporting attack cards like Goldfish if Initial draws you a card. Uh, for Initial, you don't want a lot of Initial cards because they're not going to work well together. You're only going to get this effect if you play this card, the first card in your turn. For example, we've got this Axie as well that has Cactus. You'll see it a bit later. Our plants got Cactus that also has Initial. That means you don't want to trigger both. You want to trigger one of them. And hopefully by having just one card of each across your Axies. So for example, we've got 111 is okay and 11 is okay as well. One's the best. In the sense that you can always just use it and it's always going to be initial if you use it first. But we're taking a low risk by having Cactus as well. But it's still a negligible risk considering we've got 18 cards and the chances of them drawing together is a bit low that we can take that risk for that initial extra bonus effect. We've also got Troll Star. 50 damage on its own, but if the Axies, if your target Axies HP is below 120 HP, this kills it immediately. Pairs well with Risky Fish that deals 90 damage, has an apply weak to self effect, but you're okay with 20% less attack damage if you're not attacking it. If you're just killing it instantly, it's gonna be fine. So a cool combo here would be if you draw all of these cards, would be Goldfish, Risky Fish, and Shoal Star. Hopefully if that Axie had a bit of damage, this would kill it off instantly. 
So we've got Bubble. We talked about it a little bit a while ago. We've also got Nemo here. Nemo is a great card on its own. Gain one energy for that tempo inc increase and it banishes itself. Banishing means it's gone from the deck. It's gone from your discard or draw pile. It's in the banish pile. And if it is in the banish pile, you're never going to draw it again. This is amazing because we've got this concept of revenge. If an Axie dies, all of its cards, whether it's in the discard pile or the draw pile, turns into revenge cards, which are on its own a lot weaker than normal Axie cards. And what's going to happen is you're going to draw these cards. You got to play them. If you don't play them, they go to the banish pile and they're, you're rid of it. But at that point, the damage is done. You'd have drawn those cards. With Nemo, this one goes to the banish pile and you've got one less revenge card when it rotates once your front axie dies which is amazing next we talk about our cool cool midliner Ooh, i swapped that around midliner here we've got this axie that's the heavy summoner it's got two summon effects it summons a mushroom uh oh and by the way before i forget pure plant cards shouldn't be hard to get from the marketplace uh, we've got this one that summons a mushroom that heals any of your damaged axes. Pairs well with this other summon card called Hollow. That's a zero cost. And this axie loses 75 HP. But if you've got a mushroom in play, it heals it right back for uh, 24 HP. It, the mushroom loses HP. But again, if we attach a bubble to that mushroom from one of our other axes... The mushroom would stay there indefinitely, restoring 24 HP to your most injured ally every turn. And then what happens is we've also got Cactus. As stated earlier, initial damage deals 15 more damage. So this becomes an 80 damage card for one energy. Amazing value as long as it's the first card you play that turn. We've also got Sirius that in text it selects 0 to 1 cards that you can discard and it deals 90 damage. You can select 0 right now and then it just deals 90 damage. 1 energy, 90 damage, what more can you ask for from a card? We've also got Carrot. Amazing tempo value in the sense that if the uh, opposing Axie doesn't have any shields, in the sense that it causes HP loss, you just gain your energy back. So this is free 40 damage. It helps the Shoal Star reach its intended uh, 120 HP. Just kill that opposing Axie in, uh, right off the bat. So amazing stuff. So we've got Hard Hitters. We've got Carrot. And we've got the Shoal Star from our other Axie. Amazing value across these cards. Aside from that, we've got a cool Cucumber Slice that heals your team and applies 5 healing boost. And 5 healing boost increases the healing effects of all of your heals like this mushroom for 5 HP. Amazing value. For 2 energy though, it's quite expensive. But you heal 50 across your team. So if you don't have bubbles from your summons, it heals them as well. Making them last a bit longer until you get your bubbles. Very, very good value from here. Uh, aside from that as well, cool thing is you've got Hollow deal 75 damage to itself. And then if that Hollow gets hit by one card, that Trunk gets hit by one card from your opponent and is left with 15 HP, for example, Cucumber would heal that for 50 health. And then it would heal your plant as well from your Hollow damage loss for another 50 health. And then you apply Healing Boost to all of them. So this is a cool, cool midliner. And as long as these ones stay on the battlefield, you'll get a ton of value across them. Backliner. Our main role player right here. This is the fun one. Also has Bubble Maker as our Aqua, but now has Robin. Summoning a little Robin uh, is really cool. This bird pumps your Axie's damage by 16. So each of the cards that we mentioned earlier has an additional 16 damage as long as there's a Robin on the battlefield. And if that card rotates, you can add another Robin to the battlefield, and then that extra 16 damage gets piled on top of the current one. 
amazing amazing value and the cool thing about this is that it is that it's got a little bit of synergy with tri spikes 25 damage tri spikes on its own is 75 damage three times for 25 damage there's amazing value from here but piling on 16 extra damage on the tri spikes which means every hit would deal 41 damage that's 123 damage or one energy with just one robin imagine if you've got more this will increment in attack power exponentially we've also got cottontail banishes itself you can use it early just to fix the card cycle but you can also use it late to get some tempo advantage good thing about this is when we use cottontail and if we just have all of these cards rotating it's just high power every single turn, which is very, very good. Incisor here is applies bleed for four turns. And bleed is whenever a, an Axie uses any card, they lose 15 HP. Not the best if there are three Axies on your opposing team. Because what's going to happen is, uh, for example, if you bleed the front row Axie, they can just not play cards from the front row and play cards from the mid and back liner. But with bleed on the back line, if it's a 1v1 scenario, you're bleeding that one Axie, they have to use cards, which is great. Having shields on this Axie is also really cool, because in the 1v1, there's this thing called Tiny Turtle, which stuns the Axies, right? But only if it causes HP loss. If you've got a bubble, and you've got an opposing Tiny Turtle, what's going to happen is it's not going to go through the HP, and you're going to be safe from the stun because stun hurts. Stun, you can't use any offensive cards. You've got ways to play around that though. You can put a Robin in front. If, for example, they've also got this arm, they need to hit that Robin first. But we do also have our own Tiny Turtle, which means we can stun them. Because the effect of this is if you stun that Axie, they can't use any cards for that turn. Catches, the opponent just has to not have any shields as long as you hit the hp tiny turtle triggers you stun that axie and then it buys you a turn and those are our three axes they combo they synergize well together our positioning is like this as well because we can put a taunter in front and then we can put the the birds at the back the birds that give us incremental value as long as they stay on the battlefield and that's our team Let's now talk about Charms and Runes. First thing is, Charms and Runes have different rarities across themselves. You've got Commons, you've got Rares, you've got Epics, you've got Mystics. The crucial thing about our guide here is that we're not using any Epics or any Mystics. We're only using Rares and Commons for this guide. And what's going to happen here is uh, there's a high chance during the grinding season that we get a lot of rares and commons but not enough epics and mystics. Which means if we use those, they're not an accurate representation of the actual builds we can do. So we're using just rares heavily. Uh, at 35% chance, rares are fairly easy to grind. It just will take a lot of grinding to get those rares. But their effects are fairly common as well. Like the rares that we're using are mainly boosting HP and things like that. Which can also transfer to uh, commons. That just do the same effect but with lesser impact. So still transferable and still usable if you get only common runes during your grinding season. So, our first Axie here, our rune that we've chosen is Calcium Armor. Axie's max HP, plus 30. And aside from that, at the beginning of your turn, you gain shield equal to 3% of max HP. Max HP is the key. That means all of our charms will focus on that. Let's have a look. All of our charms across the board just use the aqua card that is aquatic talisman of vitality 4 that gives you 
plus 20 HP for each. So all of this gives 100 and you've got a little bit more from Charm of Vitality. All in all gives you plus 100 more HP, plus 30, that's a bit more HP than usual. And all of these get converted to shields at the beginning of your turn, which is amazing for a frontliner Axie. That's why this is our Charm and Rune build for this Axie. You can get a Mystic like Heart of the Ocean that just increases your HP by far. You can use that if you get that, but it's a Mystic card. There are a ton of Epics and Mystics that you can swap over for Calcium Armor if you get those cards. But this is a rare. Oh, if you get those runes. This is a rare, which means you've, get, you've got a higher chance of getting Calcium Armor. Next is our Midliner. Let's have a look. Our rune here is called Healing Pulse. All teammates regen 8 HP when your turn ends. Increasing healing card effects by 20%. This is amazing because it also heals our summons that damage themselves if we don't have Bubble Maker. Take note, Bubble Maker, we just have to put on those axes once healing pulse is gone because this will regen the damage they do to themselves if we want to play safe we can preemptively put bubbles to them but if we want to maximize the bubble as well we can just put them on the most targeted axie which would be the front axie or the trunk that we're summoning in the front then our cucumber slice that heals for 56 it heals for 56 because we've got a charm on there will heal by 20 percent more as well as our mushroom right there which is amazing so this was the charm that we talked about increases healing by plus six that's why it's 56 and then we've got charms of power for our attack cards such as carrot cactus and Sirius, just for that added oomph and then we've got charms of vitality for our hollow and shiitake we can't put any offensive cards on a skill that's why we've got the HP cards. This, these also help, especially since this Axie damages itself with Hollow. And that's our midliner for you. Next, you go to our backliner. Really cool, cool stuff here. We've got Pure Power Rune. This increases the attack cards that we've got by 15%. And the cool thing about this one is our attack cards are all reptile cards. So 15% class bonus. It's a reptile using reptile cards. So very cool. Tiny dine, tiny turtle will get um, 50 damage. But with the charm, it's 54 plus an additional 15%. Same goes for incisor and tri spikes. Amazing value right there. And then we talk about the charms. Uh, because these are off-class uh, cards, we just can put Charm of Vitality because our potential points are not a lot it, for those specific cards. For example, this is a bird card. Our potential point would be 1, which means we can't put bird class cards on this. That's why we're putting a Charm of Vitality on there and on the Cotton Tail. These two just increase HP a bit, which we're fine with and we're happy with. We've got Charms of Power for the attack, attack cards. And we've got Charm of Focus for Tri Spikes because it's a multi-hit attack card. It just increases its attack power just a tad bit more. Bubble Maker, we've got Charm of Endurance. We can put a Charm of Vitality on here. But because we're going to use this not on our Axie in the beginning, we're going to use this on the Axie in the front, the shields gain more value. They generate more attraction by, by being used on the most attacked Axie, which in this case as a backliner won't be the most attacked Axie. And those are our charms and runes for these three. Right, let's start a match and see Axie Avengers assemble in action. Okay, we've got three Axies. Plant, got C plus, got an Aqua that's got Clear, Sea Slug, Shoal Star, Nemo, Risky Fish, and Perch. Plant's got Carrot, Cactus, and Pumpkin. This one's got Lagging, Snail Shell, Tiny Turtle, Little Owl, Thorny Caterpillar, and Curved Spine. Okay, 
Healing. Some bit of damage. Let's see our calcium. Ooh. It's a bit of shields. We're happy with that. We've got our energy. We've got our series. We've got our shiitake. Amazing one. We'll put that right there in the back. We got our hollow, which we can put right here in front. Really good stuff. And now, oh, we could have goldfished in the beginning, but we're saving our coin for later on. We're just going to deal a bit of damage with Sirius. Don't really need to discard anything at this point. Incisor for a bit of bleeding. And we're done. Ending our turn. And there's the healing. Good stuff. Our mushroom is going to be healing for a bit as well. Took damage. Took a bit of damage right there from its own ability. It's now a 10. Clear. They're discarding a couple of cards to draw other cards right now. Troll star to kill the trunk. It auto kills anything below 120 HP. Good value because the trunk actually uh, for 75 HP can take two hits usually if they hit for 60 at a time. But they just used one energy to clear the trunk. We did use zero energy to use that, which puts us a bit ahead. Now we've got Tiny Turtle. We can stun it. We drew our energy cards here as well. They can be banished at this point. But we don't really want to banish just yet if we're not using that energy value. We can use a stun right here to stun. Let's check the battle log for who made the most cards. Aqua made the most cards. I think we can safely stun the backliner. We can shield the frontline Axie. And hit for Shoal Star for 50 damage. Not the best. And then we're not using any of our energy just yet. Hoping that it rotates and then our Axie would still be alive. 114 shield right there. Just from Calcium Armor and the bubble that we put on this friend of ours. But if you can see here, our healing rune healed our mushroom. That's why the mushroom is at 10 again. Which means it will stay on to heal for another 24 HP every time we... Where's our mushroom? Every time our turn ends. Which is great. Alright, we've got an initial card. We can cactus right now. Oh, we should have robined. Because robining just adds a bit more damage compared to initial initial adds 15 robin adds 16 the, now the opponent's shields down we can go for a carrot for that free energy we can bubble again now we can risky fish use that energy uh not bad just to put a bit of pressure on the opponent while we're just healing everybody up look at that they're just enjoying themselves. Plants on five. Our act was still on 337. Just because of shields. Heals. I think it's mainly from shields actually. Calcium armor is just a ton of shield. Imagine having to go through that every single turn. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. We've got our heal. We've got our bubble maker. If we put bubble maker on this, it'll still have three bubble stacks, which means the bubble can pop. But we're more interested in the bubble shields. So what we can do for now is try spike a bit just for that damage. With Robin, we deal a ton more damage. Look at that, it's gone. Now we can hit the midliner with a carrot. And what should we do? Should we shield? Why not just give a heal to everybody? 50 plus a bit more across everyone. And healing stacks to boost the heals of the mushroom is amazing. Look at that. 
we've still got a full team. Our frontliner is still there. Really fresh and not being hurt at all. Not being pressured at all. 140 shield. That's a lot of shield. We do have our, ini our initial card, a uh, goldfish, which we can use right now to just draw a card. Because why not? We are bleeding though, which means we'll get a bit more of damage from every move. We can bubble ourselves so that that bleeding doesn't hurt that much. So let's go for that. We can hit for serious right now as well. We don't have to discard. We can use banish it now because our Axie can can die at this point. But we stun the Axie that we feel is going to move this turn with our tiny turtle. Now they just chill for a bit. Still fresh right here. Our mushroom heals for a bit more because of healing boost which came from the cucumber slice of our friend right here. They're trying to get through our armor is just a ton of shield every turn. We do have our bubble pop right now, which means any move would deal 20 to both axes. Uh, that's the effect of bubble bomb. Okay, we've got cactus for initial. Why not? Boom. We've now got incisor to apply bleed. And then we can also hollow. Deals damage to our plant, but now we've got a taunt while our aqua's safely behind. Just chilling right there. We've not got any space for our second mushroom anymore. There's just nowhere to put it in. So we're now ending our turn. While our healing rune just heals everybody up. Including itself. Including the hollow damage that we, that we applied to itself. Which is just so, so good. Okay, clear the trunk with one attack. Getting through the aqua again. Still fresh. Being stunned as well. Let's see if we're gonna draw aqua cards. And get punished. No aqua cards. We do get a summon. We get two summons. Shitake and a Robin. Robin reduces the energy cost of any card for the next turn. Shitake is actually gonna heal when your turn ends. So placing this in front heals our most injured Axie twice, which is great. Uh, our Robin we can use to boost the attack for this turn, but we don't have any attack cards. That's why that's our play. If we weren't stunned, we could have shoal starred the 77 HP Aqua right there. Everybody's just having a good time right here. They had to use a card to clear the mushroom, so that's one card down. That's why even as a body, summons are amazing in front. Now we're drawing again. And we're victorious. If you had fun with our content, or picked up a thing or two, hit the like button on this video, and subscribe to our channel for more of these guides. We're heading off for now, but before we go, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget, in life, you gotta be kind. But in the Axie arena, you gotta stay ruthless.